This is a review of the Dupre Neat Steam Cleaner, model DUP020WN. Hey, it's a multi-purpose steamer intended for home use, and since I've been using it for about a year, I figured it's time to share my top five likes and dislikes, as well as show it to you in action. That way, if you're considering this product, you'll know what it can and can't do. Let's get started with the top five things I like about this steamer. Number one. Being able to clean without the use of chemicals every time I go full on Mr. Clean, and yes, I've got the haircut to prove it, is pretty fantastic. The steamer's versatile and claims to pump out steam at up to 275 degrees, killing 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. I use it in our bathrooms to disinfect and sanitize the sinks, toilets, tub, shower stall, floors, and even the mirror. This thing melts away dirt and soap scum, kills mold, and removes that pink mildew that forms on the grout and the shower curtain. It also deodorizes. No more stinky bathrooms. Guys with poor aim, you know what I'm talking about. Ew. My bathroom smelled so bad, I removed the toilet. I was actually in the middle of a renovation. In the kitchen, I use it to polish the stainless steel appliances, degrease surfaces like the cooktop, cabinets and countertops, and sanitize the sink and kitchen sponge. Even removes the odors from the garbage can. I occasionally use it on our hardwood floors if our robots are on vacation or run out of cleaning solution. And I even schlep this thing outdoors to clean the grill. <laughs> One summer evening, when the neighbors had their windows open, it set off their smoke detectors. <laughs> I had to put the flames out with baking soda, and yet somehow I managed to salvage the chicken. No. Just a tip, don't press too hard when using any of the brushes since it wears them down quickly. Let the steam do the heavy lifting. Using a putty knife and the brass brush was a process, but it ultimately did well. Anyway, the steamer made our eight-year-old grill look new again. Well, at least on the outside. Nice job, Dad! Nice job, Dad? Yeah. The inside, eh, not so much. I did have to replace the flavor bars because they completely burned through. I've also used this thing to clean air conditioners during the winter months, as well as windows in the late spring, which is a bit messy. It left a lot of drips on the threshold and door frame, so I ended up cleaning everything. Uh, I was able to remove paint overspray from the storm doors that was left by the painters, and used it to remove sticker residue and adhesives left by the felt pads on the bottom of our chairs. Sometimes cleaning requires a little elbow grease, other times it doesn't. It easily removed our kid's glitter slime from the upholstery of my other half's car, which I cleaned up for her on Mother's Day. You're welcome, honey. Happy Mother's Day. And finally, the steamer is my first choice when it comes to cleaning the cat's litter boxes. All three of them. Not my favorite thing to do, but the little fur balls have such tiny lungs and they're so cuddly. Huh? Not the lungs, the cats. Number two. The unit is relatively compact, these are the dimensions, and it's very maneuverable. There's a handle on top for carrying it around the house, a roughly nine foot hose when measured from the unit to the steam lance, a 16-foot cord, and wheels on the bottom. There's also the oversized power button on the front. Number three. The steamer is easy to use and provides for a reasonable amount of cleaning time. Is it 50 minutes, as Dupre claims? No. I found it's more like 35 minutes if I'm using continuous steam without any breaks. And contrary to Dupre's heavy-duty reference, this unit is made for medium-sized jobs, in my opinion. I get through two and a half baths in the kitchen if I'm cleaning regularly. There's no need to hold down the trigger if you want continuous steam, given there's a lock on button located on the wand. You apply the steam to the surface and then wipe with a microfiber cloth. If you're using the mop attachment, you just, well, start mopping. Number four. In my opinion, this steamer is a decent value compared to other units on the market. I purchased this one from thehomedepot.com. It was about $154, but I did use a 10% off coupon that I got in the mail. The box included the unit, two hard plastic extension tubes, a steam lance, five nylon brushes and one brass brush, triangular brush tool, which can also be used with the included microfiber bonnet, window tool, floor mopping attachment, three microfiber floor pad, flo easy to say, three microfiber, three microfiber, fiber, yeah, three microfiber, fiber, three microfiber, three microfiber, three microfiber floor pads, yeah, they attach like Velcro, you can also just Use the included microfiber cloth by folding it over, holds nicely. And finally, an Add Fresh fragrance disc. Ah.
All right, I don't really use the discs, but I do like the idea of them. Number five, all attachments snap in snugly, except the brushes, which push on and stay on. Now for the top five things I'm not so crazy about. No. Number one, with all my research on steam cleaning, I think I set my expectations too high because there are things I thought this thing could do, but it just can't. For example, the steamer won't remove stains that are set in. Whether it's the coffee, tea, cat food, or fruit juice stains left in our white porcelain kitchen sink, rust stains in the utility sink left by my wire brush when I'm cleaning out paintbrushes, the black mold stains on the tub's caulking, stains from years of neglect on unsealed tile grout, or hard water stains on faucets and fixtures, to name just a few, the steamer won't get stains out. It might make a modest improvement in some cases, but there are no miracles here. Do you notice any difference in these tiles before and after? Meh. It's minimal, if anything. Also, while the marketing claims it's great for cleaning the interior of ovens, it did absolutely nothing for ours. I expected the steamer to remove the years of caked on whatever this is on the glass. It didn't do anything. And while the stainless of our cooktop and cast iron grates look great, grates look great, yeah, the steamer didn't remove the black burn marks under the burners or the stains on the ceramic discs. That really surprised me. I should point out that all but our KitchenAid refrigerator are part of the Frigidaire Gallery Collection, which boasts smudge-proof stainless steel. Frigidaire's smudge-proof stainless is great in that it can be cleaned with dish soap and warm water, which is easy, but I like to use the steamer. The KitchenAid stainless doesn't clean up quite as well, but perhaps it's because we previously used an oil-based citrus cleaner on it. <laughs> the steamer has yet to get rid of these unexplained streaks or the forehead prints I left on the door. Nothing like a reminder that I bumped my head checking the freezer for ice cream. Nice job, Dad! Number two. In general, steam cleaning has a few disadvantages. Let's see. It takes twice as long as spritzing down some chemicals. It's hot and steamy work, especially in the summer. Yeah. Sometimes there's so much steam in my face I can't see what I'm doing. Oh. And that shh noise is ear shattering. I wear earplugs. It's hard to believe I play guitar in a rock band. Honestly, it's also a bit of a hassle to drag all this stuff out, fill up the tank, wait 10 minutes for steam, then maybe run out of steam if it's a big job, then wait 20 minutes for the boiler to cool to refill it, then wait for steam again. Come on. You get my point. Big jobs with this thing are a headache. I cleaned the shower my other half and daughter use, which they neglected to clean for a few months. It took me over two hours to go over every tile and grout line using the nylon brush. Man, I worked hard at it. And that was two hours of cleaning time. It was really more like a three and a half hour ordeal because I used nearly four tanks of water. <laughs> it would have been five minutes with my electric power washer. Yeah, buddy. Number three. While the unit is pretty sleek looking, here are a few issues I have with the design. For starters, while I appreciate the cord storage, wrapping the cord under the unit is awkward. Furthermore, I really would have appreciated some onboard storage for at least a few of the accessories. I use this bag to tote everything around, but it's not ideal. And because the hose doesn't detach, storing all this stuff requires a fair amount of space. I just toss it all in a corner of the basement. Oh, and it would have been nice if there was some sort of water level indicator. Unfortunately, there's no way to know when you're about to run out of steam. Literally, not figuratively. Four. Dupre replacement accessories can be expensive. Dupre currently offers a supply kit on Amazon for 75 bucks, which buys you a few more microfiber cloths, bonnets, floor mm -hmm. pads, and brushes. Oh, and a bag. Luckily, I haven't needed more supplies other than the microfiber cloths. I'm currently using, and I think it's pronounced Mr. Siga cloths, which were recommended by another YouTuber. I got them on Amazon, but they're just okay. All the cloths and pads included are machine washable, but wash them alone so they don't pick up lint from your clothes. Hang dry everything or put them in the dryer, just no dryer sheets. Number five. And lastly, the warranty. It's way complicated. To summarize and confuse you, it comes with a lifetime warranty on the boiler and two years on everything else under normal and proper use. However, year one is somewhat comprehensive in what it covers, but in year two only parts are covered, not accessories, not shipping or labor, and there was mention of a service fee. Got it? <laughs> I don't. So good luck with that. A few things worth noting. When it comes to floors, you don't want to use this thing on unsealed hardwood or unglazed ceramic tile, but it does work fine with sealed hardwood, sealed laminate, glazed ceramic, Marble, tile, linoleum, and vinyl, according to the manual. With sealed hardwood floors, the instructions say not to leave the 
steamer in one spot for too long to avoid damage or discoloration to the floor, but I haven't experienced that issue. Either way, just keep the tool moving to be safe. If your floors have previously been waxed, the steam may remove the sheen, so always test in an inconspicuous area first. To get steaming, remove the boiler cap, hold down the trigger to allow air to escape, fill the tank with no more than 40 fluid ounces of water, preferably distilled or demineralized, and filling is a bit slow and sloppy. To press the trigger to avoid steam from shooting out once the unit heats up, plug it in, press the power button, and then wait. Phew. Okay, I'm not crazy about the waiting part. Before mopping, vacuum or Swiffer the floor first, which is pretty much the same as using a traditional mop. If you don't vacuum first, you'll end up pushing around a pile of lint, dust, and in my case, cat hair. Once the indicator light changes from orange to green, which is typically 8 to 10 minutes, the unit's at maximum steam and ready to go. Just note that while cleaning, the indicator light will switch between green and orange as the boiler generates more steam. And finally, maintenance is simple enough and is required to remove hard water deposits. It's recommended that after 20 hours of use, the unit is allowed to cool for at least 8 hours, emptied and then filled with 17 ounces of equal parts water and white vinegar. You'll leave the solution in the tank overnight with the cap off and then drain and rinse the next day. To extend the life of the tank, and for your health because you don't want to be breathing in pure steam, I recommend using demineralized, demineralized or distilled water. You can use tap water, but it really depends on the quality of your water. I used tap water when I first purchased this, but after emptying the steamer and finding this gritty stuff, I switched to distilled water. To wrap up, for small and medium-sized jobs, the steamer performs well and provides a chemical-free clean. It's a bit of a hassle to use and cleaning does take a bit longer, but who knows? Maybe I'll make up for that lost time by living longer. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more reviews and how-to videos. Thanks for watching. Three microfiber fiber, three microfiber, three microfiber, three microfiber floor pads.